In my organization, we are working on developing a series of international courses. So the original content is in English, but we want to translate it into various other languages. So how do we do it? We can do it through dubbing or lip sync technologies. And all of these solutions right now are powered by AI. So I have spent quite a bit of time exploring all of these possibilities, and I'm going to share my findings with you in this video. We are going to translate a piece of English course into German. And the reason why I chose German, it's because it's the hardest language to translate, because it's so long compared to English. So we are working on a course. This is just a sample over here. This is the English version that we will be translating. So I'm just going to play the first 10 seconds here. Welcome to the best accelerated sales training program on the entire internet. If you want to significantly improve your sales results, you're in the right place. Then we are going to check the the dubbed version. Willkommen zum besten beschleunigten Verkaufstrainingsprogramm im gesamten Internet. Wenn Sie Ihre Verkaufsergebnisse deutlich verbessern wollen, sind Sie hier genau richtig. Mein Name ist Paul. And now uh, we will check the version from Heijan and we will be talking about all of these tools in a moment. Just stay with me here. Okay, and here just notice the lip sync because here we were just doing dubbing, but here it's going to be uh, done with lip sync. Willkommen zum besten beschleunigten Vertriebsschulungsprogramm im gesamten Internet. Wenn Sie Ihre Vertriebsergebnisse erheblich verbessern möchten, sind Sie hier genau richtig. These are like the primary options. Let's just explore these tools and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so it all starts with script translation. This is the script from that English version. So you would just throw it into some transcription tool like rev.com, for example. Then you take this script, you throw it into DeepL which is really great, way better than Google Translate. You can see that this is the English version and this is the German version. So you can already see that it takes way more volume. We are just going to check it here with uh, the word counter. 176 uh, words and over here we have 177. The German words are just so ponderous that uh, it just takes longer to say them, okay? So this is going to be really important. Okay, so then we have uh, this German script over here. So now what do we do? Okay, so now we are in 11 labs. So this is the next tool. So you can, uh, you have this text to speech capability here. So basically we just take that translated script, but preferably it should be still localized by somebody who knows German. So just to make sure that this um, version is correct, somebody still has to just go through it. And let's say that now we have this correct script and you just throw it into uh, 11 labs, which is really great AI powered tool for speech generation. And then you just click on generate speech and it will create this uh, really natural sounding voice. Mm, okay, and you can choose from many different voices over here, just depending on the situation, who is speaking and whatever. And then you just generate it and you have this uh, version that I was showing you here, just English dubbed with uh, German. Okay, but there is one more option potentially in 11 labs and let me just uh, show it to you. So in 11 labs, you also have this dubbing uh, function. Uh, this just came out of uh, beta. Uh, so it's not really perfect, but it can be helpful in some situations. I think they still need to work on it a little bit. The solution is that you basically throw your video uh, in here, but it can only be up to 500 megabytes or 45 minutes, not really uh, big, right? And then uh, you just uh, create this kind of special project for uh, this dubbing. And then you have uh, this uh, editor where you can just uh, jump around and make sure that for example, when somebody is saying, I'm just going to create a quick, then it's going to be simplemente voy a crear un rapido, something, something, so that the voice is going to be synced. But I have just tried this uh, thing and I'm telling you, it's not working really great. La de traducción de video funciona correctamente en el dispositivo. Este dispositivo actual simplemente... 
this will be very effective once it comes out of beta, but right now it's uh, not uh, really perfect. Okay, but it would be great if you just want to make sure that it's really synchronized, like the audio is really synchronized between English and the uh, other language. And you can also uh, just correct uh, these um, snippets here to make sure that everything just sounds natural and perfect and so on and so forth. But you can already imagine that if we are creating a course that is going to be six hours long, it would take quite a bit of time. Okay, so now let's just move on. Okay, so right now we are in Heijan. So this is these, this other option that I um, have shown you, the one with lip sync. Uh, so how does it work? So here again, you just upload a video. Uh, you can just choose a couple of different options and the file can be up to 5 GB. So this is already better, but it's still not perfect because Willkommen zum besten beschleunigten Vertriebsschulungsprogramm. You can see that the lip sync is working pretty well, but you have no ability right now to edit that script. If we use 11 labs and uh, deep L, we can just polish up that translated script and make sure that everything is correct. But here it's just automatically translated by a Heijan. So it's the translation is not going to be perfect. So if you are using any sort of specialized vocabulary, uh, this is going to be a drag. So let's just avoid that. Uh, this would be perfect for, uh, for example, YouTube videos uh, or um, some quick tutorials, maybe some social media content. For that, it would be perfect, but maybe not for a full length course, uh, but there is a possibility here. Oh, here you have these two options, okay? So you can translate directly. So this is with this kind of regular premium account that you can have. But then you can also proofread and modify the script voices and speakers before generating the video. But that's only available on the enterprise tier, unfortunately. Okay, so potentially this tool is actually amazing but uh, only if you just use this enterprise level, which is really expensive. These voices from Heijan are not perfect yet, but you can just uh, pull voices from 11 labs into Heijan via the API. So this is really cool. The problem with the enterprise plan is that enterprise plans must meet a, a $10,000 minimum. Okay, and here you can just uh, see the prices, for example, translate existing video content, 10 bucks per credit, and one credit is just one minute of video. So unless you are working in some kind of Fortune 500 a company that is loaded with cash or maybe some VC backed super startup that is just burning through cash like crazy, uh, then this is probably not going to be an, uh, a viable option for you. So let's just look at something more realistic for just digital marketers or creators. So for example, uh, you want 60 credit, credits uh, per month. So that's uh, $119 per month and you get 60 credits. So you can just uh, translate uh, 60 minutes. I can see a use case for this for sure. Okay, so then there is another option. It's called Rask AI that I have found and it's pretty good. But the problem here is that the voice is not really great just yet. Perhaps I'm not using it well. It's a little bit cheaper than Heijan and it allows you to edit the script as well. You just upload the video here, then you can just download it. Then you have this lip sync but lip sync is also just available in the pro plan. And uh, it's pretty good, but the voice itself is maybe not that attractive. Let's just have a quick listen. Willkommen zum besten beschleunigten Verkaufstrainingsprogramm im gesamten Internet. Wenn Sie Ihre Verkaufsergebnisse deutlich... Okay, so personally, I'm the biggest fan of the voice from 11 Labs. And here are the plans. For example, you want 100 minutes. So you have to pay $150 per month. This is uh, a little bit cheaper than mm, Heijan. 
and it's still pretty good because you have quite a few options over here. I would say this is a great uh, option, especially if you have some uh, budget, uh, but it's still not perfect. I can see that uh, these tools are still in uh, development, so they are not really there just yet, but in one year they will be. So I highly recommend that you start experimenting with them. And uh, I will do my best to include some affiliate links to Heijen and Rask in the video description. So if you want to check them out, just feel free to click on my affiliate link. It would help me tremendously. So thanks a lot. Uh, so let's move on. Few more tools that I have found um, that can be helpful for that. One is called Speechify. Uh, this is uh, much cheaper. And you have these options over here, basic, professional, but I haven't personally tested this one uh, just yet. From my research, at least, Heijen and Rask uh, and 11 Labs and DeepL are way better. Uh, and then there is one more tool call, called Respeecher. And this is also for lip sync and uh, all sorts, sorts of um, just um, content localization uh, tasks. And I have heard uh, about this one from uh, Gary V. Uh, and uh, he was saying that uh, he will be translating all of his content into all of these other languages with lip sync and they will be using uh, this tool. This is probably really good, but I can also imagine that uh, it's a more enterprise level solution. They don't even have a pricing page over here. So probably you would have to have some kind of uh, deal with them uh, to it just uh, set up this whole lip sync and dubbing uh, thing. We have explored a couple of these options, but which one is the best? I would say that if you don't have a huge budget right now, probably mm, dubbing is going to be the best uh, for you. Just create a transcript of the script with some kind of rev.com or some kind of uh, transcript transcription tool, uh, then you just throw it into DeepL, translate it into the other language via this um, AI-powered translator, then localize that script. Just use somebody who is a native speaker of that language to make sure that the script is good. Then generate that audio using 11 labs, and then throw that audio into a tool like Final Cut Pro, because why not? And uh, over here, you can see that we have uh, the English version here on top, and this is this uh, translated German version. And you can see that the difference in length is just crazy. And this is the same 176 uh, words, but this is 176 in English, and this was <clears throat> 176 in German. Okay, so then, the next task will be to just somehow sync that audio. As you can see, this is quite a challenge. In this audio generated by 11 labs, there are these pauses over here. So you could just technically uh, cut out uh, all of these uh, pauses. So that would already make it a little bit shorter. Or you could just go uh, with brute force method. Uh, so you just go into this um, speed changer. It's over here in Final Cut Pro. So just, um, you could go create custom or whatever, but you could just grab it over here and you could see that this would have to be 150% faster. Then you just um, get rid of this uh, English audio and then Willkommen zum besten beschleunigten Verkaufstrainingsprogramm im gesamten Internet. Wenn Sie Ihre Verkauf... It's somewhat synced, um, but it's still... Uh, it's way faster, it's not perfect. So you can see that you would still need to polish up the, um, this German script, so it's a little bit shorter. In other languages, it's not such a huge deal. In French, it's still going to be longer. In Spanish, it's going to be more or less the same as in English, which is great. So it really depends on the language. But you would have to just chop it up. Uh, you would have to get rid of the pauses. You would have to shorten the script a little bit. And then you would just sync it up with that original video. 
Uh, so, as you can see, there is no perfect solution here. If you have a perfect solution, please let me know in the comments. I would be extremely grateful because uh, I'm going to be uh, creating these courses right now and I'm going to spend loads of time on this thing. So this is quite annoying. Mm. So if you have some kind of uh, secret solution, please let me know. But I hope that this video was helpful and that <clears throat> you are now in the know when it comes to just video uh, content localization. Uh, and I'm sure that you would also enjoy another video uh, from my channel uh, about Translate Press, which is about uh, translating your whole website into many uh, different languages automatically with the use of AI. So feel free to check this video over here and I'm just going to see you in the next one.